Hi, this is a follow-up video to my previous one when I repaired this uh, Hewlett Packard generator 33120A and I tested it a bit but it turned out I missed a problem so I should have tested better the first time and excuse the noise from the fans again uh, both generator and the scope have uh, fans which are quite loud and let me show you the problem it turns out when I increase the amplitude at some point it starts limiting on the negative side you see and then at some point the relay clicks inside and um, it changes the range and it's fine again so and then the same thing repeats I keep increasing the amplitude it starts limiting again on, on the negative side and at some point it changes the ranges again so in the previous video we briefly looked at this uh, output attenuator circuit and if we look a little closer we can see these are relays which are clicking and these are dividers for different ranges and uh, I believe the problem must be in the previous stage somewhere and here it is the previous stage uh, it goes to that attenuator from this point and here we see the plus and minus 18 volt uh, powered amplifier uh, this is the final output stage and problem must be here somewhere so I suggest to open the thing up and start probing so here I took the cover off and let's check the voltages first I found these two Zener diodes uh, which have easy access and I suggest to start checking these plus minus 18 volt rails so I turned it on and I'm putting negative probe to the ground and here is one Zener diode so I'll check this rail which is 18 minus 18.28 looks fine and here's another zener and on this side should be the positive rail which is almost exactly 18 so this looks fine however this output stage one is uh, well this zener diode and resistor one side is accessible another side is buried close to the front panel not easily accessible however I see these electrolytic caps these are through hole and they can be measured from the bottom let's do that okay so one electrolytic cap is soldered right here another one is here so let's start checking this one so this measures 15.71 which is okay and on the other side oh look at this so this is 17.69 so these zinners are supposed to drop 3.3 volts each and on this side it seems like it's not dropping much so it seems to me that something is wrong here on the negative side 
uh, the drop here is supposed to be 3.3 .3, but we see a drop of less than a volt so maybe the zener failed maybe the output transistor or something else and uh, I cannot easily reach this guy however the transistor is a through hole one so we should be able to test that from the bottom so here they are the output transistors this is one I believe this one is the negative side and this must be the positive side, they have heat sinks on them uh, and the zener is right there behind the heat sink and the cap so I cannot easily reach there to test the zener but transistors we should be able to test from the bottom so these three pins are for, for the positive side I believe and this is the negative side so let's try so I set it to diode test mode and uh, these are the bases right here no, the other way I suppose okay okay so this is the good one positive side looks like two diodes sure enough so this one should be the opposite polarity so the base is here again and uh, this should look like two diodes and it doesn't so it certainly seems to me that this negative side transistor has failed here I have this desoldering station and uh, it has different diameter tips so I put a smaller one and I believe it's hot already so let's give it a try very convenient and trying not to damage the plastic here so the angle <laughs> is not very convenient but anyway almost almost there okay here it is so this is 2N5583 I believe so let's check again so this one is the base and uh, it is a PNP device so with negative on the base we should see this thing as two diodes and nothing so it is certainly dead And now when transistor is out of the way I should be able to reach that zener All right, zener looks fine to me All right, it's another day I picked up uh, a few of these transistors in the local electronics store They were sold in packs of three for 15 bucks And let's repeat that quick check a diode uh, testing mode and this is a PNP device uh, I'm putting the negative on the base and we should see two diodes 
one and two looks just fine all right i installed the transistor and let's quickly check the voltage on that capacitor before we've seen 17.7 or something like that so now it's 15.74 so it looks better this time all right let's test starting from default 100 millivolts peak to peak that's how it powers up and then we'll slowly increase that and previously we've seen some limiting on the negative side before the range change at 320 okay range changed and we've seen no limiting so far another click and no problem okay so next thing perhaps i should check the amplitude accuracy uh, if that repair affected that at all um, so now we see 640 and the scope measures 656 or so but the scope is not accurate enough so i need to bring a better tool and check the specs all right here we have very accurate six and a half digit multimeter the output is terminated into 50 ohms and converted to bananas so let's plug this in and um, this guy is measuring rms so let's switch this to rms as well okay so this is the number uh, we should see uh, so the generator believes it puts out this much and uh, we are reading slightly lower let's have a look at the specs I highlighted here amplitude into 50 ohms accuracy at 1 kilohertz that's exactly what we have and it should be 1% of specified output so let's plug these numbers into a calculator here we are so first we enter what we read which is 35.14 let's say divided by uh, 3536 what we should get and uh, minus one all right so this is the difference uh, if we shift the point to decimal places it's going to be 0.6 percent out so which is well within spec i'm quite happy thanks for watching bye